I am having oxygen. Mercy means everything is perfect. Right? Mercy means the moment I require a drink, I get a drink, I quench my thirst. This is mercy, right? So this is the section of mercy. Mercy entails many things. But we, you know what? We take things for granted in our life. We don't reflect like, have you ever thought where did that, that water come from? Did you ever thought? A little bit. Yeah? yeah. I drink bottled water now only. Yeah, but imagine where that source of the water, yeah. where does that come from? Scottish Highlands. <laughs> yeah, but who created the Scottish Highlands? You see, God, so yeah, exactly. Created. So therefore, we often uh, disregard our blind spot. You know blind spot? You know, you have a car and you, why do we car? We have a, a, a mirror next to the car so that it covers the blind spot. We also need to cover our blind spot because when we take things for granted and we don't give the repayment, that's a problem. But then when you're talking about enjoyment and quenching your thirst and stuff, yeah. but then what if, say you don't drink alcohol, right? No, we don't drink alcohol. So, but what if you enjoy it? Is it, is it sinful? You can't drink it? So survive? the qu question is, uh, who should give guidance? Who should give guidance? Just like the way I demonstrated the example. Yeah. Now imagine if you create a bottle. Who told you not to drink alcohol? Though? No, I'm saying yeah. this is an objective criteria. Mm -hmm. what, what, whether allowable or prohibition, who should define that? Is it me or my maker? Logically, it's contradiction if I say this is good and this is bad. Because I didn't create alcohol. Right? Do you? Do you create apple? But when apple rots on the floor, it just turns Yeah, yeah. Right? But you do not know of the process because you didn't make it. So therefore, the one who makes it, he will tell you whether this is allowed or prohibition. Is that for you or not? And what does it say not to drink rotten apple? No, no, no. I'm not saying apple. <laughs> apple is allowed, of course. Yeah. Now, the good thing so is... Cider is allowed. Yeah? You're allowed to drink cider. Uh, apple cider vinegar is allowed. <laughs> <laughs> apple cider it's good vinegar. Good for your stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even Prophet recommended it. It's healthy. So anything Just good not for when it's it. Got an alcohol content. Sorry. It's gone a bit far. No, I think the alcohol uh, is goes back to the first principle. If I take God is my absolute moral guidance, then I should listen to what God has to say. Mm. And of course, we know that how alcohol create harmful for for our detrimental for our body. Look at the. But then what about, how can you argue that it sometimes relaxes people and makes them feel a bit more confident after maybe one? What do you mean? So say, say you're feeling really nervous, mm. say you're going to go on a date, yeah. I don't know, and then you have one drink and it relaxes you. No, but really this, is, this, is, this, is more of your, this is more of your subjective experience. The reason why, when you get tired, the best thing is sleep. Yeah. Have you ever thought that even sometimes we have five minutes sleep, refresh you? Look. So the solution is sleep, not to alcohol. Do you know why people drink alcohol? Just to calm them down. Mm. But yeah. this actually, forget what I this actually doesn't help. The true help would become from the understanding of the nature of the God and worshipping God. And Allah, the Creator said, uh, Indeed, the remembrance of God, your heart will find the peace and rest. True tranquility. You know, like, we, we feel the burden of not giving the gratitude back. You know, those things are granted. We always feel the guilt of it. Unless you worship, you will always feel guilty. And that is a innate proof that there is an external entity. So you're saying people feel guilty when they drink alcohol? No, I mean, if you, you, if you make it, no. I, I, I you don't. No, no, I have never drunk it. Ever. But I never, never, I wouldn't drink it. Because my... Uh, my uh, 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 my, my, standard, my standard is always same. Yeah, but how what, did you find out not to drink alcohol? My creator no. tells me not to drink. Who, that, how did they tell you that? That's why I say, it. in order to know where, the, where can I get the objective morality from, can I derive it from you myself? Really think about how it's no, no. Can I take it from myself or can I take it from the divine guidance? If I know that the creator and creator communicate with the divine guidance, and if the divine guidance tells me, then I should follow it. So so because it's coming from all-knowing. Yeah. The what one who one knows about cake, your body. A cake's made from random ingredients. You, your divine guidance would have never told you to put them together. You know, the no, but, but the cake, the ingredient in the cake yeah. are all allowable. It's, it's no harm in it, true. But then Have the it. ingredient inside is like... 
No, 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 the way you give it the example, the same, some people, they give me example the same way, before they get married, they say, okay, let me find a couple of girls, and then let me settle with one, which is also immoral, this is what in Islamic way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Allah said, if I want to, uh, 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 like someone, I have to give the name of marriage. Oh. I have to marry. It doesn't say that you know I'm to have to sleep with so many women before I choose one. Allah so says, it's like you know. You're not sleeping with apples. No, no. I I think I I I think if we apply the apple example, yeah. apple was allowed when you eat raw. It's not poisonous. So you eat cheese. Right? No, no, no. Okay, okay, That's okay. Fine. For example, we have apple here, and we have alcohol here. Is the apple poisonous? Is wine poisonous? It is. But then you think you get, no, you no, get no, 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 no or not allowable. We have also restriction how much we eat. And Prophet, he himself has a dietary pattern that he never eat his tummy full. So he one third eat with food, one third with water, and one third is empty. If you look at the current science, and if you look at the current healthy living status, if you have that adopt this idea of keeping one third empty, you will have a very healthy life. Yeah. What do you think of the fact that 90% of the world is actually dairy intolerant? So, so you know with our bodies kind of do react to it. So but no, it no, 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 I think, so no, it's not, not, no, 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 I think, no, no. Imagine majority, majority, majority of the country, dairy. majority of yeah. the countries, milk actually one of the major source of supplement. Mm -hmm. Now, question back to you. Yeah. Milk doesn't work for you. Yeah. Take for Azam. You have whole supermarket full of fruits, vegetable, you eat. Have you ever give thanks that whatever you have already enjoyed, that's working for you. Rather than complaining what's not working for you. All this is yeah, how do you grateful. how do you do that? I look at what the farmer's name is. No, no, no. Bucket, no, like, but that <laughs> farm, like, that, that farm, that job. farm is a means of produ production. Yeah. The farm did not produce itself. Nothing can produce itself. You cannot give birth to yourself. I'm talking and that is a, a, a profound verse in the Quran. Allah said, Afaraitum Mata Harusun. Allah said, when you plant a seed, do you grow it or am I the grower? So he's asking a question to think. When you drink or when you eat, where does that come from? Don't give thanks to the creation, but thanks to the source of the creation. And that's why another verse also said, uh, do not creator. worship, no, yeah, creator, do not worship the sun, nor the moon, but the worship the one who created both. What do you think about oil then, crude oil that's been in the ground? Everything is creation. Yes, My, so you're okay with taking it out, even though the planets suppressed it and crushed okay. it to store in it. Islam, in Islam, God said everything he created in balance. And he given a law, la tuqsurul mizan, do not destroy the balance. Now, everything was given in abundance with perfect measure. It is human being, we break the law. For example, like now you now, them, right? now you become the counselor of uh, Hyde Park Speaker's Corner. And you say, I'm going to cut all the tree. Next year, we have so much thunderstorm comes. Would you blame God? Who would you blame? Well, you're relating it. Yeah. Do you think thunderstorms come because the trees have been cut up? Exactly. Because it's what balance. Because that, we do not know how it's keeping the balance. Because it releases, it takes, what, it the, what, what does it? Sink. Exactly, exactly. So the excessive carbon will be detrimental. That's why it is there. So the source or the creator of the street knows or the maker of the universe knows how this works well. So that's why I'm saying, where can you get your objective morality? How do you know that things are right? Without God, you cannot reconcile it. That's my question. And where is it that says that Muhammad is the last prophet? Muhammad, the Quran is said. Yeah, and then so the New Testament that came out after, right? Where, where does it say that that's not right? Sorry, say again? How, how do you know that none of that's right? How do you know he's not sent a new messenger? Prophet Muhammad Islam confirmed that he is indeed the last and final messenger of God. What if God was like, shit, I forgot something? No, can that God, exactly. Can, can God ever forget? Yeah. Well, he has but to send it, another messenger. No, no. The last one no, was so, believe, right? By the definition no. of God, can God yeah. ever forget? Yeah. 
Can God knowing. Yeah, yeah, all knowing. What, what, what does all, he say all no, in no, the What does all knowing mean? So what, what was the name of the first guy? Abraham. Adam. Why, Adam, Adam, Adam. Why didn't he say everything? He doesn't forget. Or were they just feeling out the world? So when yeah. you are mixing up with creation with the creator, the creator attribute is all knowing yeah. and all aware. Yeah. Al Alim and Al Khabir. Khabir means aware. Means you can say, oh, I, did, I wasn't aware. Where is my bag? But creator would not be like this. He's always aware. He has no past, present, and future. Everything is evident reality. So when we talk about creator, he's unlike the creation. That's why in Islam, we have the correct concept of God because it goes in line with our primordial cognitive understanding that God must be unlike the creation. So we should worship the God truly so that in order to worship truly, we need to know who the God is. Otherwise, you can be worshiping something wrong. And that's why, you know, one of the chapter um, in, in Surah Al-Najm, Allah said, uh, is ahwa ma walla wa ma gawa. So he was not deluded. You, you may think, okay, he may be deluded, you know, he may be thinking he's true, but he's not true. So Allah is confirming in the book, telling everyone that no, he's not deluded. Would you give your valuable stuff to a deluded man? Would you do that? In the Arabia, in the, in the advent of Islam, people used before Islam, they used to give their valuable stuff to Prophet Muhammad Why is that? You don't give your amazing item to a crazy man. Even his enemies. Even enemies. And he was, you know, and faith-wise, he's, he's different. He's not pagan worshiper. He was known as trustworthy in the whole of And he was offered money, wealth, right. wealth, and he was offered kingship. Whatever you want, blank check. And you know what he concluded? He said, if you give sun in one, one hand and moon in another hand, I will not renounce. And he has to go through with the struggle. He suffered persecution years after year, hunger. But he never compromised with the message. Yeah. And so he the was. Is the message quite similar to like, the Jewish message? Do you so we believe. <coughs> so we <I> believe <coughs> that, that God created Adam. And all of the messenger, and he sent one unique message to believe the maker and worship him alone. So, do you think like Jews are missing out on the last bit? So, Jews is actually rejecting Prophet Muhammad, yes, correct. Yes. Would yeah. you worship with a Jewish person? No, because my religion confirmed, Allah confirmed in the Quran that this is only will be acceptable. And, like I said, there cannot be multiple truth. If a person worship a man, and if a person worship God, they are not saved. In order to worship God, we need to have the correct attribute of the God. If someone say God is get tired and refreshed, I would not be accompanying with him in worship. So therefore, I would say God is perfect. His nature is perfect. So I will worship the perfect one. And Allah said, La ta'akuzu sinatun gulanao. Neither slumber nor sleep can overtake sin. So do you think you worship a different God to them, or they've just got the No, idea I the worship the correct understanding of the God. Right. So the understanding, the, someone say, Father, what does he mean, Father? That means, entails has, a, has to have a wife, has a children. So we think about family. But God is saying he's not like a human being. So a maker wouldn't be a father? No, no. The maker is unlike the creation. If I make a book... But it's just, they always say it's just using language that helps us understand it, right? Yeah, so, so that's why, that's why we have to have the correct understanding. That's why him, you say him, just because... Him, 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 him is a referring term. Yeah. Him does not mean that he's male or a female. Yeah. You just use it because that's what Yes, we and let me, let me show you the definition here. The true definition. What does it say? So why not say they? You know how everyone says that if they're non-gendered yeah. now. Why, yeah. Why wasn't that a thing? Because it just didn't work vocabulary-wise, right? No. It, for uh, uh, the creation is unlike the creator. For example, if I make the book, I am a human being, and the book is unlike me. Yeah. I cannot create like me someone. Do you see? So the creator of the heavens and the earth is not like the creation. So where did all the words in this come from? That, that's that's the Quran. Yeah. God revealed to Prophet Muhammad through angel mm -hmm. because God this is the way of God communicate to human being and when you pray say if an English person who's a Muslim yeah. converted and doesn't know Arabic or any language yeah. are the prayers in English no but initially if you just say like if you know the physical bit like Allahu Akbar you know God allowed you uh, and that directly to, translates to what 
sorry, uh, meaning you can you can pray it in the first few times until and unless you know. But you have. Do you that think if someone sat down and said the exact translation in English, praying in the right direction, everything, and then not praying correctly because they're saying no, if, the same words in their no, language? No, it will be accepted. It will be accepted if the intention is correct, yeah. so that you can further learn. But initially, you become a Muslim, and if you start praying in English, so God knows. Muslim, you say one phrase, right? Huh? Yeah, so you would say, so would you like to be a Muslim? I'd have to say the phrase. Yes. I know that I've been told the phrase. Okay, but so you believe in Allah, right? I mean, that's just a translation of God, right? Yeah, uh, yes, the true concept. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger? I've seen some of his texts and I think... Yeah, you believe that, in him. I just, I don't, I have more like a spiritual feeling towards everything. I think there's lessons and I've done spiritual healing this year and stuff like that. So but do you, do you believe from, like, it is the correct truth in there? I'm as a correct messenger of God. I've I've been on like a bit of a different kind of journey this year, so I believe I don't know what I believe, you know. Mm -hmm. So so how do I know, or why? How should I know that? What is the truth? What would be your criteria? Something you won't agree with. I've been just feeling in my conscience and my own feeling that you say if a murderer has done that. Yeah, that's why obje objective. Is yeah. Completely Right? Like it can be, it can be true. Like for example, some My of the. Would have the same kind of lessons. But how do you know it's true? That's the question. How do you know it's true? So that's why we say the objective guidance means my purpose cannot be defined by myself. Now, if you say, look, generally is lying good. Sorry, is speaking the truth is good. Nobody would argue with you, because these are some general guidance. But our life is much more than that. We need totality of the guidance. And the totality, how should you distribute the inheritance? How should I... Can you not accept this charity and stuff though? What is the ruling with that? So the, in Islam, the charity, the concept of that is... You can accept what, a gift that's charitable to you, right? No, it is only that it, if it is... So that we have category we call zakat, which is one of the pillar of Islam, which is therefore there to uh, to make the balance in the society so you to can taking it no 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 if it's helping the balance you can get a gift given to you is depend on is depend on if the the compulsory one which is called zakat zakat means taking from the rich giving it to the poor so that society can be balanced look at just think about that interest in this country is taking from poor people and making more poor yeah, and richer really getting yeah, yeah. so islam comes to guide the humanity and the second type of which is the uh, voluntary charity, you can give it to anyone, but it is advisable to give it to who? Someone who is less fortunate, needy. So really, really rich Muslim. And even, even, charity. even Quran laid. No, no, no. Quran gives a criteria. No, 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 no. There's, there's a chapter. Yes. Like you know, your annual saving from there, you have to give 2.5 percent to the. So people lose their way because my friends. Let me let me show you that. It's saying zakah expenditure are only for the poor and the needy and those who employed for it, means those who administer it. And for bringing hearts together in Islam and for freeing captives, more freeing slaves, if you sl uh, free as slaves, then you can give. Now, and those who are in debt, means if someone is, look, is go helping the most needy. And, and the cause of Allah, for the traveler, an obligation imposed by Allah, and Allah is knowing and wise. So Islam, no, the distribution of wealth is a key important element. It is therefore to make a perfect balance in the society. So someone that is so rich and isn't giving to charity, they're disrupting the balance? It, they are. So they are you, violating. Say your uncle, he's a trillionaire. Yeah. Would you speak to him and be like, of you've course. upset the balance, why have you got all this money? So as a Muslim... And then he's drinking whiskey yeah. on the slide. Yeah. What do you think? So in a general guidance, in the Quran we have guidance. Allah said, وَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ ذِكْرَةً فَعُلْ مُؤْمِنِينَ That remind believer it is better for the believers. So if, now imagine, if he saw me that I'm not praying, his duty... To tell him to pray. His duty... His and duty. his duty is to make sure, tell him that I should pray. And how often do you have to pray? Five daily prayers. And then when you're at work? Work, uh, uh, now everywhere, you can, you can space everywhere. There's always a spiritual room, yeah. but say I have colleagues that do it once at work. Yeah. And then they do one before, one after, three times. Yeah, so we, we, we have the timing, we have the prayer time. time. And everywhere nowadays, all over the world, you have the facility. In office, you can find a space. 
and you can have your uh, prayer met with you and you can pray it. It's only take five minutes. It's not like if a your massive thing. Say you have a meeting that, at that time every day. Then what? No, but I mean, of course, exceptional cases. If, okay. but your if, if is your intention, so you know? You, you can accept that they'll sit there and just think about it. And then no, they can say like you know, we have anyone who pray. I think we have a, you know, a set time. Yeah. Yeah. Set time period as well. Yeah, yeah. Set time. Say, you know, our uh, afternoon prayers start from say one o'clock to maybe up to like three o'clock, brother. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Any time. And how long it, does it take you? Five minutes. Five minutes. Five, minutes, five six minutes. So. Uh, Allah said uh, that if you pray on time, it is one of the condition of the believer, the one who prays on time and with humility, right? Now, exceptional circumstances can arise. If you are in traveling, you, you are allowed to reduce it short prayer. So there are, you know, uh, uh, exception, make it easy for you. Allah didn't make it burden for you. Sometimes, you know, like if you are ill, like for example, Same you cannot, Ramadan, yeah, let's say, period, let's say you have a, let's say you have a skin issue. Yeah. If you eat in Ramadan, yeah. you have to do it like that. Make up and then you also give a, a fidya called replacement money to the poor. Going back, like for what example. If you're poor? Sorry? If you're already poor, but you still So have you have fast, you, you fast, an alternative, you know, you have. Oh, you so can just pay your way rather than starve your fast. So that's called fidya. Fidya means the replacement of the fast. Oh, I see. Going back to, you know. But you could also just fast another day instead of Yes, of, of course, of course, of course. If you, if you do not have any means, going back to like, for example, if you don't have the water, because it is a prerequisite before we pray, we need to wash our hand and face. If you don't have, let's say you have a skin issue and you cannot use water or you have a bandage, you, we call it, we, uh, there is a thing called tayammu, which use a, 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 a stone or, or, or some, some clean, um, what do you call it with the soil? piece of soil basically mud, <laughs> yeah so you touch it you wipe it so that shows you that you have that flexibility what about alcohol gel that's so, soaking into your skin which you use sorry alcohol free hand sanitizer or do you use alcohol no we, we've been told to use alcohol free sanitizer of course of course and like in islam you have the exception always right exception different based on the scenario if you are let's say if you are in a scenario that you have nothing available to eat apart from the forbidden one like for example if you have to eat a dog meat normally dog meat is not allowed now there is a scenario everything destroyed mm -hmm. nothing there you can allow to uh, have the dog meat right to survive yourself so in islam we have the exception but exception is not the law so we don't take exception is the uh, uh, exception is exception law is the law so allah said uh, five daily prayers we have five pillars which is Shahada. So Shahada, actually believing Allah is one and Muhammad is the final messenger of God. And then you have five daily prayers, we, we touched upon it. Then we have Zakat, which is against interest and which actually is the solution for the human problem. We would not be in this current problem if we didn't have the bankers. Yeah, right. You know it. How now we are paying. The price we have to pay extra in the supermarket not because of our fault but because someone else greed now Allah placed zakat as a solution for uh, economic problem and you know the word zakat zakat means purification of your wealth means the money God given you the granted you the provision these he's given you some of the money belongs to poor Exactly. Yes. So Allah accepts money as a currency. No, but he, he, he given you this source, he given you this life as a privilege to earn and uh, earn money. And then also don't be greedy, give out from your portion. And not but the give, gold standard changing and currency just like growing no, and growing. The standard is set about two point five percent of your excessive wealth. Not your income tax, but saving tax. In this country, they straight away they take the tax without realizing how much you need. In Islam, it's the other way around. Whole year you spend, let's say you have 10,000, you earn, you spend 9,000. But obviously if you live here, you have to pay the Let, here. Yeah, yeah, so you have 1,000 remaining. Then you pay 2.5% on this remaining 1,000. So even the taxing system is fair. Everything you look at Islam is fair. But where is that applied? Only in Islamic countries? No, like I said, I said, you know that category I showed you? Those are the category, they are only applicable. So it so was... So you really robbed by being in this tax system here? 
Of course, of course, Rob. I mean, of course. Fine. And is there people speaking to the government being like, this isn't the way it this should be? We know how it should be. Right? We apply but our of course, life. yeah. Uh, right, yeah. Right. On the money that you've just got. But, all, money, but, yes. but, <laughs> but, but you know, no <laughs> government, no <laughs> government <laughs> run <laughs> by God's law. No <laughs> government run by God's law. What I, my argument is here, God's law is perfect solution for humanity. Even in an Islamic country, 100% Islamic country. There is There's no, na, there is practically no Islamic 100% country. Look, Muslims are the people trying to follow the religion in their best accord. It does not mean that I'm perfect. So if someone looks at a Muslim to become a Muslim, I don't think it's, it's a correct understanding. You should follow Islam from Prophet and his uh, and the Quran. And Allah said in the Quran, uh, 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 Whenever the dispute occur, if a matter of dispute occur, we go back to Allah and his messenger. Means we look at God and his messenger's criteria, what is the correct guidance. Yeah. To say, okay, Converted, whatever. You have a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> say, say now I want to go to worship, but we can't worship in the same room. What if I want to worship in the same room as you? So, say I'm with like my family. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 I think you drop your drop. You drop. No, that's your drop. Let's come to this. Yeah, so worshipping has to be in separate rooms, right? With the gender. So, so basically. Say I'm with my partner. Yeah. And we're both Muslim, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can I pray just behind together. him. But yeah. what if I went to the mosque mm -hmm. and I want to pray with him there? So if you go to the London, different mosque, right? All mosques has a prayer facility, like big ones. Like if you go to. Uh, what does your mosque have? Uh, I normally go to East London Mosque, where we have a prayer, separate prayer facility. And is there a middle bit where you can pray together? Or no, no, no. In the, in the mosque, we don't have that facility. But in the, in the Prophet's time, they used to pray together because of the convenience. Because look, sometimes we need to look at the convenience of the sister. If, if you have a baby and you need to breastfeed, you would not feel comfortable around men around you. Yeah, of course, why not? Exactly. You see, you see your partner's breasts, right? You no, 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 no. Other people are around. But, but also, it's just moves. They're just for breastfeeding, right? No, but so what, what's, that, what's that, the that, issue? No, God created it? No, the, God created and given you guidelines on and what is the uh, decency. We call it a, an element called haya. Say I'm indecent right now. No, 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 no. I'm not judging here. God set out the criteria. So he said how to conduct affairs, right? So decency is in Islam said you have to protect your chastity and your beauty is for your partner. But if it's just at that time a milk vessel, mm -hmm. how is it indecent to have your breast out in a mosque while still praying because your child needs food? Who is also a Muslim who you've just No, but created. it should be on a private area. And in the mosque you can find private area. That's but not some a problem. People think that it's not a private thing, it's just No no no. Food. Nobody nobody thinks that way. Nobody thinks that way. If you mosque, you will find private area. You can do all so do you your necessities. Someone can sit here and breastfeed their child. Is that not? No, if if she covers herself, that's fine. I think you don't need to cover yourself. No, it's it's depend on whether that you believe in it. Whether right. if you believe in God guidance. Simple thing is where. How do I dress? How do I eat? How do I worship? Do you cover the, yourself when you eat food, though. What do you mean? It's just a baby eating its food. At the time, that's the only. No, of course, you need to food. open. <laughs> You have to eat through the mouth. So you have does to... the baby have to cover, be covered while drinking out of breast? Sorry, say again? Why does a baby need to be covered while drinking Not baby breast? needs to be covered. The like woman is to be covered. Boo, boo, because these, but it's just, no, it's just these are, like it's dinner plate, right? No, no. There are certain things just to be covered. Cloth is an adornment for you. Why do you have to even cover? Why don't you have to cover? Would you, would you be able to... Would you, no, 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 no. What we are saying is, you covered up to this point. I'm saying cover... Extended. Where is the argument now? The argument is nowhere. You see, why do you have to cover? If you say decency, I said, where does that decency come from? Can, can a Muslim woman get her shoulders out? So that her beauty is cover. This covers under why beauty. Is the shoulder beautiful? Do you get your shoulders out? Uh, my, my sh this is covered. Yeah. Could you wear a vest? Say again. Could you wear a vest? My hand uh, is okay to open. Yeah. Do so you get your shoulders out. Let me show you. I think. What's the difference no, between no. my shoulder? Not too many questions because the moment I try to answer, because you ask another question. Can I just, can I, can I yeah, yeah, come. Uh, yeah. An element. Uh, 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 You're talking about a uh, level of modesty. Yeah, right? yeah. But here's the thing not everyone is born to be free. You are enslaved to something else, you're a master of something. But you're not realizing because why? Because the society has made you this illusion that you are free. There's yeah. no such thing as freedom, there is a limited freedom. Yeah. So you are. At, 
whatever you're doing right now, somebody has told you you've been conditioned. So why are you, why are we dressing like this? Why? Because this is called a fashion trend. But I'll tell you one thing, sisters, right? Who are the ones who are the top CEOs in the fashion industry? Is it women? It's men. Men are the ones who are controlling the level of clothes. You know what? In the next 30 years, let's make it more revealing. In the next 50 years, no, let's cover more. Yeah. So, in fact, people don't know that when you are born, you're not born to be free. You didn't choose the way how you look like, correct? Mm. You didn't choose to have blonde hair. You didn't choose to have eyes. You didn't choose to have, you know, your ethnicity. So, the thing is, the society has made you this illusion to think that I'm free. Actually, you're not free. Yeah. Do you understand? You're following the beauty standards controlled by who? By men. The difference is we prefer to submit to the one who created us. We're not going to worship men. We're not going to worship women. We're not going to worship God's, crea God's mm. creation. It's going back to the again. So where do we get guidance from, right? So where yes, do we guide us from? So all those answers, that cannot be subjective. It must be objective. Otherwise, you cannot set your own standard to someone else. And if we all have our own standard, this world will be chaos and corruption. That's why God didn't leave the guidance to you, rather he taken on himself what is right and what is wrong. When you say God's guidance is wrong, then you need to prove how your guidance is correct. This is a big challenge. Because you know what, this is a true liberation. Exactly. True liberation. Exactly. From the, from the chains of men, from, from government, from, exactly. from, uh, so from societal from slavery. society slavery. Yeah, exactly. But then you're still stuck in it because we're in a society, right? No, 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 we are not stuck. We are not following the society. Either way, either way, you are going to be to yeah. slave for something. The yeah. difference is, we would rather enslave ourselves to Allah, the real maker, us, rather than enslaving ourselves to his well, creation. Exactly. And Allah actually says, why wouldn't you rather enslave yourself the master, to one master huh? or than a, so many lords? So many lords. Do you understand? And Allah mentions, Allah ya'lamu man khalaqa wa huwa al latif al Should he not know? Should he not know? So he knows you and then guiding you. Guiding you. So are you not going to take from the original source? Or are you going to take, nah, I'm going to follow my exactly. desire. This is where it leads to. All of the question leads back to the one question. Can I guide myself? Plain, bold, simple, Correct. no. Correct. With capital N, capital O. So where, where does it say that the, um, your modesty is next down then? Is that so the Quran is uh, chapter 24. Yes. So allow, allow me to did, did, allow me allow me to finish one after another. Yeah. Because otherwise, you know, there's too many questions and I, I can't address it. So allow us to, yeah. So chapter 24 and 30, yeah. So it start with, so start with, Modesty of man and then the woman. So he's saying, tell the believing men to reduce some of their vision, means lower the gaze, and guard their private parts. That is purer for them. Indeed, Allah is aware of what they do. And then coming to the woman here, and tell the believing woman to reduce some of their vision and guard their private parts and do not expose their adornment. My, cover your beauty. Right? And where and the beauty is. And this is explaining. Now, what about no, the face? no, no, face, face. So you're saying women's faces are nothing. No, 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 no. No, if, 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 look, if, look, if, look at what, look, look at this Muslim sister. Yeah. Her face is open. So that's not her beauty there. No, face if, is if face. You if she want to cover, she can cover. Yeah, no, difference of opinion. No, no. The face yeah. and so what if someone's face. opinion is okay? I'll, I'll just cover my breast and on my shoulders. No, no, no. It's, it's not about someone's opinion. It's about what God defined it. The so simple thing. Surely someone would interpret that as you have No, to there is face. no interpretation, no human interpretation. The interpretation must be with Prophet Muhammad. So, so say if I um, so, just read the Quran yeah. right, and I've converted, yeah. but I haven't got someone like you to tell me what's, what it means. So that's why, so that's why, how, that's why we have the sources. There is two sources. So we have two sources. Yeah. Islam, there is two sources. Not Raihan, not Aziz, or not my brother. Who's the other one other than the book? The Quran. And the prophet Sunnah, the hadith. So where the teaching, prophetic teaching. So he explained how to do things. For so example, just a bloke on what the internet. Where do you find him? How no, no. The, so we have you. You can you can get the books. But I've not, I've not met you. Okay. So oh, look, like met, let's say if you go to any library, right. let me give you. Ask them. I need to get the hadith books. But I don't know that word. How would I know that word? No, just ask them. I need to know the uh, Islamic so, information. I want to be a Muslim. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So if you go to any Muslim, any 
any any you can uh, this, and then there's another one being like by the way that which is the good. which is the underst explanation like for this example explanation because you can yeah. come like yeah. everything in the Quran, some yeah. of the word you might say, um, what does it mean? Mm. So you refer to what Prophet said, then he explained yeah. everything yeah. in detail. Yeah. Yeah. No one last, one. So, last one, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Um, so my cousin converted because she married Nigerian Muslim. Yeah. And said the word, doesn't cover, she wears boobs out, um, does pray with him, doesn't cover her hair, does go and cover in the mosque only. But they have no, her husband's okay with that. Completely okay, happy. the question here, and we, she doesn't make her daughter we, have The question here is, Islam is perfect, not Muslims are. There are some Muslims falling short on their action. Even we fall short on it, and we ask Allah to forgive us, does not necessarily mean that we should act upon it. It is advisable we should advise, just like I mentioned, if I fall short of anything, he has a right to correct me. Right. So it does not necessarily mean that Islam is wrong. It's just a person's inability to follow the correct thing. Okay, so you've now had a pint and you've said you shouldn't have done that. You've, you asked for forgiveness and now it's wiped clean? No, there is a condition. There must be a three conditions need to be fulfilled. Or you give money or no, you no. It, no, if you, if you say, if you do, um, um, I was say alcohol, if you drink alcohol, which is forbidden, yeah. you need to make tawbah. It's haram. Yeah, it's haram. Toba and the condition that you feel bad about it, you make not intention gonna not going to do it, and try to act upon it, and... It didn't and work, say so it didn't work, now you, you've done it again. Of course. Your intention is what? Look, just... the, the issue now you are going, it is going on how Allah, what He knows, what's going through your mind. And He has the level of mercy we do not understand. But we know he has mercy, but we don't know how much mercy is beyond our comprehension. But what we believe, God will treat people with mercy and his mercy will override or, you know, uh, or he was, was expelled his wrath. So if someone is sincere in first place, you don't have committed it. Right. And then you've been told to have a good companion, live with a good companion so that you don't even go there. So as a Muslim, that's why we stick it together. Why? So someone, if I go in a wrong way, someone can pull me back. So we need to look at what are the so avenues. You can sympathize of, if someone went away traveling for a while and came back and was like, I really strayed away because I didn't have you around. But I did it a hundred times. I had a hundred times I've done something around. But now I'm sincere. That's fine. But that, that, the, the, and then they stop forever. But they've taken drugs for two years. Say you went to university. Allah knows what the intention, the level yeah, of intention. Yeah, it's, all it, it, it's all about intention. And we are falling in the category of judgment. That we, Allah's will, His judgment, His mercy, Allah tells us about. But how, on so what degree? You can have a, a complete new convert who sins their whole life. Right? So you don't but the even, even. Muslim, all yeah, Muslim, all, 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 all of it. Yeah. But then, say, like, two years later into your conversion, you did some wrong, and then what? You can be forgiven again? How many times? But well, everyone sins. Everyone sins. Allah said, if your sin touches the sky, exactly. He will forgive you. Even we have prostitutes. Who fed the dog or cat? I'm, 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 I don't want to. Dog, dog, dog. And she was forgiven. Because so, she had no like, other choice, right? No, but because, because of, of that, because of our sincerity of the act. Yeah. The act of sincerity was very lovable to Allah. And Allah said, I am merciful and I love mercy. And He said, the one who doesn't show mercy, he will not receive mercy. Exactly. That's why we've been told to become merciful towards each other so that we can get the mercy of Allah. Look so at the you teaching. You some of your peers out of a really dark place. So we, look, we, we have to, we have to be merciful to every creation. So much so, so much so, we have to be even merciful towards the tree. Do not even cut the tree unless it's necessity. Yeah. What about, milk, even, look, what about milking a cow? Even, right. then, even, then, even then, even then, even then, even, even, do not even, the animal. exactly, do not burden, do not burden them, them. even. So you think complete factory even, to milking is wrong because it makes them bleed and stuff. Even, even, even if we extravagantly do something not out of necessity is also not acceptable right so islam has given you the ultimate totality of the guidance and that totality of the guidance cannot be known through our whims and desire because whims and desire always fall short and, and there's just like so much restriction like, like, isn't it? no it's not restriction it's, we have to country, see all meat that's halal. No, you're not restricted no. by oxygen it, it's you're about breathing. perception yeah. sister I mean, you, you can see as a perception yeah. or you can see this is my guidance, how you see. Yeah, yeah. What about when you want to eat meat that's 
what, what's the rule? You have to, it has to go out a mile away from any other dying animal to be killed. To, to make it halal, right? No, no, no. The, the simple That's rule is whenever, yeah, okay. Right? Simple. Halal no, halal. Let, 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 halal. Okay. So there are type of criteria. Let's say you wanted to kill a cow. Who is the owner of the cow? So it's your cow. No, 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 no. Not my cow. <laughs> not my cow. I really because I didn't. No, no, no. I didn't create the cow. I didn't create the cow. Okay, okay. The cow's owner is who? The God. God yes. Now, if I wanted to take, no, if I take Raihan's bag. <laughs> No, if no, yeah. let's say he's the owner of that, yeah. But and I, no, no, no. I'm, I'm just using this example. I want to take his bag, without permission. If I take it, is it fair? If I take your bag without permission, is it fair? But it's God's bag, surely. It's your no, no, no. It's your bag. Okay. Well, I, I'm allowed possession. Because he has given to you. Now it's your possession, right? Same way. When you the cow, who is the owner of the cow? First, we need to establish before we. That's not my question. My question. No, I'm, I'm, I know what okay. your question. I wanted you to understand <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. a bit. Yeah. Now, in order to kill that, God must give an away. You cannot just kill any way, right. shape or form. The way is not possible in this country, right? No. The, the owner of the cow is God, and God didn't give you the decision how to kill it. Rather, he legislated you how to kill it, exactly. because he owns it. That's why it's important to understand. How yes. did you find out how to kill a cow to make it acceptable? Now God tell us Good that God tell us how to kill it. So you say in the name of God means I'm taking in the name of God. I'm enjoying or the meat in the name of God. Yeah. Okay, but isn't it that it has to be a mile away from any other dying creature before it dies? Yeah, so, the, so, course, one, yeah. so the, the, an, an animal happen. should not see the other one. Uh, any, uh, yeah, and the also, also there are many conditions. You should not, now, you so. should not, you should not, you should not. You should not. You, you just took it from Islam. Yeah, yeah. Well, you should not show us the objective. That's probably seen another cow die. Do you feel like no, no, we should not. We are not allowed. So these are the so guide. I no, do no, eat meat. No, no, things nah, I think not, she's no, mixing wait, up. Wait, wait, no, no, no. You according, have no control over the way that it's happening. No, according to Islam, if you're not aware of where did the meat come from, right, unless you are conscious of knowing where that meat come from, then it's permissible to eat. Yeah. Not a problem. No, this Islam is exception. Is not yeah, that's what I already explained that you can eat. The, do you remember the example of dog meat? I said, if everything, there is nothing there, and you only have, only have dog meat, you are allowed. So I said exception cannot be law. Yeah. So when we say exception, Allah always say, if you do out of necessity, then Allah is all aware of what you do. That's it. So when you get meat, have you tried to source the most halal meat you can? So you basically, someone that you're like, okay, they've done their best to meet the standards. Yeah. Okay, it's not been this far away from another dying creature, but it's... But, I go by, I, but is it I practical? Halal certified. Yeah. I don't know the yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And you know also so you have to trust it. Lies, right? yeah. we, have to, we have to trust it. We have to trust it. In our life, we have to trust it. So if a Muslim brother say he done it, and I know he's truthful, then I accept it. And That's even it. if he did... If I know he's... If, if, I know. No, if I know he's wrong, That's then I would go to another, another, another provider who is most trustworthy or, uh, you know, yeah? All right, thank you, good chat. <laughs> All right, look after yourself. Let me give you the copy of the Quran. Thank you so much. And it was a pleasure talking yeah, to you. you I hope, I hope, I hope, my name is Aziz, you know. Aziz. Yeah, I, I, I hope, you know. Read the Quran if you, yeah. if you believe it's the truth in the English word from God, I always say, no, copy the Quran. Yeah. No problem. I accept the love of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, she, yeah, no, no, no. I like being yeah. ruled by men, you know. But, <laughs> but, but you yeah. know, yeah. sister, we have given you a compelling evidence for Islam, you know, and you can see the divine guidance. I can see so many people. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I have and, a best friend who's converted. Exactly, exactly. She's more devout than some Muslims Absolutely. that have always been Muslim, So right? the divine guidance has ultimate solution for humanity. Yeah. We are trying to solve our problem without knowing the source. And Allah is telling, come back to my soul. That source will free you. Exactly. Let me give you this. Thank sister. You. Look after yourself. Thanks so much Have a pleasure. Thank you. you. Have a good Bye. Day. Bye. Bye.